Hi, my name is Dave Andrews, and today I'm going to show you a few things not to do when you're using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, when you're creating a presentation for an audience, uh, you want to keep in mind that you have to keep your audience engaged in what you're explaining. You can't just throw it all into a presentation and expect them to be thrilled to see what they're seeing and, and to listen to every word. They're going to get distracted if the presentation is not easily uh, followed or has a lot of distractions built into it. So I'm going to show you a couple examples here. I have a PowerPoint made here. And the very first thing that this, this PowerPoint does wrong is first of all, I'm using one of the default themes that comes with PowerPoint. Now that's real, uh, real simple to use if you're doing a quick presentation that's for a small group of people um, and would not um, you know, they would not immediately recognize it as one that already exists. If you're going to use different colors and things like that in your presentation, uh, try to make it as original. Now, as you can see here, too, on this same slide, I've overused animations. Everything on this slide pops in as some kind of animation. That's great for the first couple of times or for a few things you want to emphasize, but after you do it four or five times, it gets a little repetitive and old. On this same slide, as you can see, I've got a whole lot of images on there, which can be somewhat artistic if you're making a collage type of thing with your presentation. But generally, you don't want to overuse images on any one PowerPoint slide. Let's go to the next slide. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this slide is that it's uh, very intrusive. It has a, uh, a bright color uh, with a dark text written on top of it. It's difficult to read. Uh, if you were set in your ways on using that bright red background color, you could probably change the color or font of your text to make it uh, more readable for the people viewing your presentation. Also, as you'll notice, this is in paragraph form. It's typically not a good idea to use paragraph form when creating a PowerPoint presentation unless you're doing quotes or some type of uh, information like that. You want to keep it simple, keep it brief, summarize data, and you as yourself read out the information that you want uh, your, the people viewing the presentation to pull from each slide. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you a couple things not to do when using PowerPoint.